텐데 까다로운 너도 yeah Hey guys, today I'm gonna drop some of my unpopular opinions but not really about music or something but rather about the vocals in K-pop. I'll be talking about a lot so be ready hehehe. <laughs> Let's start. TWICE are pretty damn good. There has been this stigma about TWICE not being able to sing ever since 2016 and it honestly gets on my nerves. Of course they have weak links like Momo and Dahan. But look at their strongest singers and just be amazed. Jihyu is a very solid main vocal and is pretty much the standard for what a main vocal should be good at. She has support in her voice with an above average lower range and a decently developed mixed with support and freedom being present up to the upper 4th octave and most recently up in the lower 5th octave. People say she struggles with high notes but they have never even bothered to watch any other performances of her. Nobody knows that Jihyo can lighten her mix very well and knows her limits perfectly. She has shown the ability to sustain G5 in studio and F sharp 5 live which is pretty darn high even top vocalists like Taeyeon struggle to sustain those notes. Jiang Gaiyan who is arguably one of the strongest lead vocals of her generation. She as well has very nice support and a very nice lower register. She just has issues with her mix when she ascends into higher notes which is something number 1 and 3 don't have much issues with. She's overall very deserving of lines. Sorry I meant her position hehehe. <laughs> Naeon is mostly regarded as the voice of twice and she definitely is. She is what sets the standard for twice's sound. She as well can support properly but she's just less consistent and can get more shallow in comparison to Jiang Gaiyan. She also has the best lower range in twice but she just needs more consistency overall. She's very good for a lead vocal and I would see her as main vocal in some groups. This one will be harsh but most K-pop vocalists are overhyped and the good ones don't get enough hype. I didn't want to use an example because that can come over toxic but I'll remain mature and respectful so it's okay. So my example of a vocalist who constantly gets praised for being one of the best main vocalists and is always placed higher than vocalists like Rose and Jihyo is Saiyan of Dreamcatcher. I'll be planning on including her in my next vocal analysis but to keep it short. She has a lot of issues going on starting from extreme tension which causes her strain to be more present and blocking her support. No proper support going on overall and mostly being very tight and tense throughout. She's a very nice idol vocalist, but she has some major technical issues that are holding her back and the thing is she's not even the strongest vocalist in Dreamcatcher at the moment. Overall she deserves main vocal, but I would make you Hyena main vocal as well since she is the best vocalist in the group and I don't wanna disregard Saiyan's talent since she does have it. But back to the point. The reason why Saiyan gets praised a lot more is because of her being better than them in the 5th octave and having all those high notes. The same people who say, high notes don't matter are the ones to bash Jihyo and say that Saiyan is better when she clearly isn't. Overall, my point is just that, if you don't have the proper knowledge don't state anything as if it's a fact and pretend that your fav is up there with the actual good ones. TXT needs to move to SM for a while. They have so much potential to be the greatest vocal group of their generation but they don't have the technical skills to back them up. I think his name is Tihan but that boy has a heavenly voice and I could honestly consider him as a vocalist with a lot of potential. Although they don't have positions it's clear who's the best singer. Tihan definitely knows how his voice works the most and he will get better when he gets older but imagine how good he would sound if he would produce resonance in his mix and actually start supporting higher than the average E4. I really think that SM will do wonders with his voice. Same with Pi if I'm correct. 4th gen is vocally really disappointing. 
Isn't it sad how the strongest vocalists of this generation doesn't even come close to a lead vocal in a group like Girls' Generation or Sister or even Red Velvet? They all have very nice voices but the technical skill is lacking a lot. Yuri has a lot of potential and she's arguably the best female vocalist of this generation. But her classification is only average while last decades every strong main vocalist would be at least above average to proficient. The strongest male vocalist is very controversial for now it's the Onius boy. But even he has major issues with his support outside of his supported range which only goes up to the bare minimum of F4. His one's vocal line is strong for 4th gen but it's pretty weak for 3rd generation. With only one vocalist having proper support. Can't wait for SM's new girl group to be at least above average. Really Bad Boy is one if not the hardest K-pop song to sing. Not only are the notes difficult but overall with the choreo. It's pretty exhausting and I would be dying right away. The vocal line hits multiple D5s with closed vowels. Sulji doing multiple F5s in mixed with Wendy as well doing it with a very very complex run afterwards followed by Sulji and Wendy reaching D6s at the end of their vowels and Wendy doing a head voice run from D6 down to D5. The vocal line snapped and the sub vocals definitely had to do their job good as well. And their stamina was amazing while performing. Not everyone who can't hit high notes is immediately a mezzo or alto. This one doesn't need much explanation but for the fans that think this way. A vocal type is not about range in any way it's about how much weight the voice carries. The amount of time I see people claiming Leah is a mezzo because she can't hit high notes like Yeji makes me laugh so hard. Like it's good that you try to use proper terms but sometimes it just makes me giggle he he he. Also, a vocalist that naturally has more weight to its voice isn't bad. Jizu is a vocalist who naturally has a lot more weight. She's a soprano but because she has all this weight and because she's untrained and underdeveloped she has a harder time getting up there in comparison to Rose. Also, counter tenors are very rare. Jimin is just a tenor with a brighter voice. High notes are actually impressive. Of course strained high notes aren't good, but people are always trying to take away the effort that is actually done into singing higher notes. I personally would love to hear more climax notes which are actually shocking and not over the place. When CLC came out with Helicopter I was so pleased when soon he got that climax note. High notes or overall climatic vocal challenging parts can make a song very good. Like honestly there are songs I wouldn't like if the vocals weren't so nice or if they were sung by other artists. Don't get me wrong. I don't want an idol to hit high notes if it's pretty obvious they aren't capable of doing so. Like with Blackpink. Rose is the main vocal but I'm not mad about Jenny getting climax notes since she is the best belter in the group and Rose's voice is overall not made for high notes. That's pretty much proven in the E5s in Ice Cream. But then the thing is, I don't want unnecessary high notes and that's something that is one has a big issue with. Like Rococo is full of unnecessary climax notes which makes the real climax anticlimactic lol. Secret Story of the Swan was a nice blend between a great climax but still focusing on the vocals during the first verses. Because there's this issue that producers have. Making the whole song boring but then the climax hits super hard and then it ends no ad libs in the last chorus or anything just the repeated chorus. Leah has my favorite voice amongst the newer idols. Something about her voice just captivates me. It's soft but it has this depth and core to it that makes it sound very steady and strong. The price tag cover was literally on loop for two months. She just sounded amazing and I honestly can't wait for her to go on King of Masked Singer and show her powerhouse vocals because I know this girl has pipes. I'll be very honest. I was the Yeeji main vocalist person because in Itzy songs it was pretty difficult to hear if she could support her voice properly or not. I'm so glad that price tag cover happened otherwise I would be clowning myself a lot these days. Itzy overall have very unique vocalists. And I know the word unique is very vague but they all have very nice timbers which would be amazing for any type of genre and that's just amazing. 
Oh My Girl not being mentioned as one of the strongest vocal groups baffles me. They have one of the strongest main vocals and their second main vocal isn't too bad with also having some sense of breath support. Their lead vocal YOA sings very nicely but they have this sub vocal that is honestly amazing and I was shocked to hear her sing the last chorus in their song Gorilla. Oh My Girl is without a doubt the third strongest vocal group of third gen. And this is not vocal related but their rapper is amazing. I don't know a thing about rapping but that girl can spit bars for sure he he he. My last opinion is one that has been said a lot but needs to be said more. Wendy is the main vocalist of K-pop. And more specifically third generation. She is a monster nobody even comes close. I already analyzed her in my other video so if you wanna check it out. Link down below because I don't know how to do that I thingy in the corner lol but Wendy is overall a very well rounded vocalist with having pretty much every register developed and not having any issues singing higher or even lower. Usually range isn't the most important but wow her range is very wide and she can reach incredibly high notes and has achieved whistle register which is fairly impressive. Her agility and head voice control is just out of this world and her rich and full tone in her mid belts with very nice support and occasional resonance is phenomenal. This was the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Please comment your own opinions on K-pop vocals or vocalists. And do you agree with mine or not? Bye bye. <laughs> Look